Welcome to the Fictional Focus Podcast. My name is Nick. I'm Chris. And this is the th- third episode? Fourth episode. Fourth episode. Why don't you correct me? Of the podcast where we're going to be talking about One Piece. Live action series. <laughs> and also the manga. And also the anime. So there's going to be heavy spoilers because we're probably just going to talk about like, all kinds of random stuff. We're going to try and stay on focus. Try to stay. Try to stay on uh, on topic. We have notes. We have notes. <laughs> notes page. Notes page. But it's not going to work. No. Not going to be helpful. And I wore, wore a new shirt. Yeah, a new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> One piece themed. <laughs> All right. So uh, so let's get started. So we both watched we both watched the entire season. The live action One Piece Netflix show. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, I guess we should just work on the start. start oh, we're going by the notes. So we'll start with the crew and work <laughs> our way through the crew and then whatever whatever and then we'll actually do overview of everything i guess actually talking about the show which i mean we'll talk about all of it anyway and then whatever yeah but so okay so we we'll start off with luffy because he's the captain he's the first character we see in episode one monkey de luffy monkey de luffy monkey de luffy monkey de luffy monked luffy monkeyed he's monkeyed luffy yeah he's like gold roger that's his zone for it yeah it's like gold roger monkey to roger de- or monkey de- 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 okay yeah Tangent. Like, why do they keep calling him Gold Roger? Like, because he, they don't tell. Like, him. I, but like on his wanted poster, like, because that's his pirate name. Yeah, I, I know, but like, that's his pirate name. Like, like how it's Black Lake, Lake Sanji and uh, Pirate okay, Hunter Zoro. Okay, okay, he's that makes Gold sense. Roger. That, that's his that, pirate name. Yeah, that, plus, okay, never mind. You're plus, right. they don't want to tell you that he's a D initial but until that, way later on. Yeah. Until they actually, because right mm-hmm. now the D initials don't mean anything. No. Right now, Luffy's the only D initial, so it's like, oh, that's just a thing. His, as a family lineage thing. Yeah, which they don't even it's explain that. It's not like they call him Monkey D. Garp. They're just like, oh, well, in the show. Garp, yeah, I was thinking Garp, about that before. Garp. I'm like, because because yeah, Terry was asking me if Garp is his like dad's dad or his mom's dad, and I'm like, oh no, he's his dad's dad. We don't talk. And about then that, right? and then I was thinking, I was like, oh wait a minute. I'm like, because yeah, they never mentioned in the show that his name is Monkey D. Garp. Like, to, so that would be oh okay, so it's, it's that yeah, would gave it away name. too early. Yeah. Well, no, but I mean, even at the end when he yeah. shows up. No, I know. Yeah. But like, all right, you know, you know. We're a lot of chapters in, and we still don't even talk about dragons. So, shh. I mean, they've talked about dragon. They've talked about dragon. Yeah. And they've shown him. Everyone has met Luffy's dad except for Luffy himself. He's like, I don't even know yeah. if I have a dad. Robin spent two years with him. <laughs> Doesn't even talk about it. That's, that's that's one thing I love about Robin is that whenever she, anything like important, she notices the crazy things or like important stuff. Half the time, she's like, I'm not gonna say anything about it. <laughs> Sometimes she does. Sometimes, like a lot of times too, I really like when they somebody says something. And it's like obviously like a place or a person. They all kind of turn to her and like, she's like, oh yeah, that's so and so from wherever and blah blah blah. And they're like, oh okay, cool, thanks, <laughs> thanks Robin. She's the font of information. <laughs> thanks, which Robin. is the thing. It's like she doesn't have like an act. Like she's the uh, um, uh, archaeologist on the crew, yeah. which is like not what? A real, what, what, what not what? a real pirate position. Yeah, why do we <laughs> need that? But it's like her more important per, per, uh, position on the crew as far as pirate historian stuff is. would be a better yeah not pirate position but hey you know it's something still, more usable it's still super re- relevant because whenever they have a problem well not a problem but whenever they need to have information on something she usually has it and we're getting way off track yes. <laughs> robin's not even in the show yet but she should be in season two yes okay so luffy I, definitely luffy uh <laughs> first off the 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 guy who plays him uh anaki i forgot what his last name was is it anaki it on the i should have wrote it on the notes anaki something i thought he was really good I loved him. I thought he was great. I thought he was hilarious. That was the thing. I was watching some video, some like behind the scenes videos and interview videos, and he was like, "Why he got picked to like do further interviews and stuff or casting whatever stuff for it mm-hmm. was because he made Oda laugh." Oh really? Yeah. Which that that's because what... he like asked him. He's like, "Why did you pick me to keep going on to do further, you know, callbacks and stuff?" And he was like, "Because you made me laugh in your first, your first uh, thing." And he's like, oh, okay, that's awesome. He's like, cool. And it's like, and that's probably, Oda's like, you made me laugh. Like, boom, Luffy, right there. Look at that. I, I mean, yeah. That's what I liked about him. He liked, yeah, he was goofy he and just, funny. He's like, he played and then, like, Luffy well. Yeah, like, and like in a lot of the interviews and stuff, like, it's like, he is Luffy. Like, in norm, how he normally is, is like very like that. And like, there's one thing he's talking about. They were asked him, like, oh, what's a, advice you, you get or you would give or something from that? He's like, well, one piece of advice. <laughs> the one piece. <laughs> he's like, ah, one piece. I'm like, ah, that's, I'm like, that's so goofy. He's so goofy. 
Yeah, like, like I, he's, 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 yeah. See, he's I got, didn't know all that. I, well, I didn't yeah, watch no. his like private interviews, but like, yeah. as a character, like, he's just as got, an actor playing the character. Like, I just, just yeah. I liked his mannerisms, uh, the way yeah. he did things. I liked his. I'm Captain Luffy, so I'm goofy. But then, like, you messed with my friends. I'm yeah, serious. I'm mess you like, up. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was great. Like, he was good. He was good casting. That was a good casting. Good casting. Because that was like one of the biggest issues that they could have had is like the cast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they casted everyone well. Yeah. So. uh <laughs> Attacks. <laughs> that, 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 that was a, again. Again, that was one of the biggest issues I foresaw for the show was Luffy stretching, like being horrible, yeah, looking that, horrible, and, that was great. and doing horrible. It's like uh, I'm like that's gonna just be bad, but it looked really good. It actually, looked pretty good. Like he did pistol a bunch of times. He did balloon and he did Gatling. Mm-hmm. He did you know the axe to finish our along and everything. That was Battle Axe. That's battle better axe. than regular Axe. Better <laughs> than regular Axe, which he never even did, but he did <laughs> Battle whip. Axe. He did Whip, he did whip. and Zoro made whip. fun of him. He did. Nobody calls out their attacks. <laughs> everyone calls out their final <laughs> yeah, attacks. Yeah, like, literally everyone on the crew calls out their moves. Yeah. And, like, Sanji even says it to Zoro. Yeah, he's like, he's like everybody calls out their, their finish <laughs> like, attacks. He's like, oh, yeah, you made fun well. of him. And Sanji looked at him. He's like, he's like, all fighters call out their attacks. Yeah, their final, yeah, their finishing moves. And Zoro's, Zoro's like, like so I was like, oh, man, maybe yeah. I should start naming things. Like it's when like, I did Onigiri and I didn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> or 3,000 Worlds. Oh, he did do that. Yeah, yeah he did 3,000 Worlds. 3,000 Worlds! <laughs> Mihawk's like, nope. <laughs> but yeah, so his, his attacks actually looked good. His The rubber, stretchy stuff looked good, which is which was yeah, good. <laughs> which was a big worry originally. Um, I don't know, favorite moment. Like there's a lot of... A lot of okay, good moments. Luffy moment? Yeah. Just if anything off the top of your head, if you think of any, if anything popped out, if it not, I mean, we just liked a lot of different stuff, we can just move on. I mean, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. I just, yeah. put, it, I just put it on there because I'm like, that might be something that just... No. Whatever. I mean, there's nothing that he did that I didn't, like, expect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. A lot of stuff was like, yeah. So, uh, outfit. Like they, he had, he he had. I liked how he, they kept changing his outfit. Yeah, like some yeah. of the outfits were like From, different times of the series mm-hmm. outfits. Yeah, I'm like, hey, hey I'm like, hey. yeah, I recognize that. I recognize that. And then the shoes, his sandals. He he his, wore sandals the whole time. Yeah, I, I mean that's the thing. Like it's weird that he's not wearing like the flip flop sandal yeah. things, but it's like the shoes he has kind of makes it look like he sort of is. Shanks wears the same thing too. Yeah, which is probably why he wears them. Well, but, I think they were just like this. So, they're like the, it's, the flip flops are impractical. Yeah, it'd be so difficult. Which I'm like, I understand why. But I'm like, it just looked weird originally when I first saw it. I'm like, no. I'm like, why? But then you know, I'm like, I'm like, okay, gotta wait to see it in the show. Maybe it'll you know be better. Which it was. Yeah, which I, is fine. I had no problem with it. Yeah, I mean, flip flops would be impractical. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it'd be so ridiculous. Even, even if he's not physically doing the actual fighting, can it's you like, imagine trying to do the choreography? Yeah, flip flops on. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop, so, there goes the shoe. Yeah. Whoop, there goes the shoe. Yeah. So. So it worked out. It was fine. Mm. Um, the or, the flash his flashbacks, which mm-hmm. were basically just like in the manga. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Like, essentially, it was exactly the same as the manga, mm-hmm. which was good. I like that they had they did it literally exactly the same Shanks lost his arm lost his arm didn't use Conqueror's Hockey to, <laughs> to push away the Sea Beast I don't even talk about it he just, he just looked at it he, he just gave him the evil eye yeah so <laughs> what so, hockey there's no hockey there's no such thing as hockey what, they weren't you know, playing hockey they yeah, were we playing pirates yeah exactly so so yeah it was really good A plus on the origin flashback I liked how they had the you know the village old guy. Like he was he was in one was, of the flashbacks. Yeah, you you see him. He doesn't really do anything, but he's there. No, nope, he was there. I saw yeah, him. The bar lady was there. She had more of a. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the only thing the only thing I can think of off the top of my head that they actually changed was how he got the fruit. Because originally he didn't go in the storeroom and randomly find it. Shanks had it sitting on the bar. Yeah, he ate it. Right. And Luffy was just like, ah, it was all upset. And just like, ah. <laughs> Yeah. he's like no it's like well why are you so irresponsible as to leave it on the bar don't you know what that is do you really like does he know <laughs> yeah you're right does, like does, in the in the real series they were just yeah. like cheering over their treasure and yeah they just like, literally yeah, had it like sitting there chilling there and luffy's like oh what's that? um ah fruit i'm all frustrated and angry he was hungry yeah he's, he's always, he's always hungry. hungry Ooh, me what? Luffy, yeah. me. The, the, the whole they kept sticking to the. the if you give me meat, me, I'll solve any problem. Yeah, and that he loved me. He's always like, give me meat. 
They're like, oh, what do you need? He's like, me. Me, <laughs> what I always need. And <laughs> then like, like, why am I damaged? And, and I didn't have enough meat. And, like, Give me more meat. It? Who was it that was like, oh, I should have recognized you guys are related because of how much you love meat, like him and Garf. I think it was Kobe. Was it Kobe? Oh, no. I was thinking. It was... No, it wasn't Kobe. It had to have been somebody that's been around for a while. I don't remember who it was. It was somebody that was like, oh, I should have recognized you guys were related because of how much you guys love meat. Yeah. I don't remember, but yeah, it was, that was funny. It was, it was one of the Marine dudes. Yeah. Maybe it was Zeph. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, <laughs> I liked how after they did the whole, uh, you know, Bartier thing, like they're, they're bringing on all the dried meat. And I yeah. think Zoro was like, do we really need that much dried meat? And he's like, of course we do. Of course we do. What are talking about? <laughs> he's like, do you want to know our captain? <laughs> oh, favorite moment. I actually do. I thought they came into my mind. I loved it when it happened. And I like, because when they left... Um, the buggy village mm-hmm. that was destroyed and they had like the food or whatever I think it was that one and they had like the food or whatever they'll give you this and they're like oh no no you should keep it or whatever mm-hmm. and Luffy starts walking away I was thinking I'm like oh that'd be funny if he turned around and went and grabbed something and then he turned around and went and like well I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe a little snack he's like well you know uh, I am kind of hungry I was like, ah, I'm like that's so Luffy. I'm like, that's something Luffy would totally do. Would be like, oh no no, you guys, you guys need it more. You're in trouble. You're in, you know, whatever. Well, okay, maybe maybe, maybe a little bit. Over. I'm hungry. <laughs> so overall, uh, that Luffy was great in the show. Yeah. yeah. A plus, A plus for Luffy. Yeah. We're gonna grade them all now. <laughs> <laughs> you all, you all get a grade. Um, all right, so Zoro. Yeah, you know, Luffy, he's a D minus. What? <laughs> oh, I get it. D. <laughs> uh, 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 okay, Zoro. <laughs> okay, Zoro. Zoro, the demon. The, the Great casting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was good. I thought he was great. Yeah. All serious. Good costume, good then, character, good good actor. Yeah. I like how he's like, oh, yeah. Like, that was, yeah. A lot of, a lot of great sword fighting. Like, that, with Mihawk, like when, awesome. when he first, like, showed up and, like, just the whole... What was it Mr. Seven? Yeah, Mr. Fighting? Seven. Yeah, even that was good. I really, I really like that they actually because they never show that no, in the manga it was, and the anime. It was talked about. They it just, never. He just like vaguely mentions it when they go to uh, Whiskey Peaks. Like, oh hey, you guys try to recruit me back in back in my pirate hunting days, but you wouldn't let me be like the top guy, so I just killed the guy you sent. Yeah. So I'm like they sh- like in the show. I'm like, oh man, it's that part. Yeah. Like that's so cool. That's and I'm like that's a great character introduction of him just being like I'm awesome and destroying the dude. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, that was cool. Then what is, it, is the next time you see him in the bar? Yeah, because yeah. he shows up with half of Mr. Seven. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, I want my bounty. <laughs> yeah. So then, like, all the Marines are messing with him. That's what I mean. He's, like, he's like drinking a beer as he's just, like, beating everybody in the yeah. bar. Well, see, that's, that's like, with the Luffy thing. I like that throughout the season that he, he kept, like, oh, I want to drink. Oh, there's a, there's a wine cellar over there. Oh, why didn't you tell me that before? And then drink, drink, drink. That, his whole alcoholic. And they were, like, really subtle about the him getting lost stuff. They never, like... <laughs> overtly pointed it out but there were multiple moments yeah. where he got lost and he's like oh I was trying to find this thing but I ended randomly ended up here and they're just like oh okay cool they didn't like really point because it's talking like, about Zoro literally only yeah because Zoro's like, gonna find the one piece while well, everybody's accident. asleep <laughs> but but like in the series like at the beginning they didn't really talk about it until like later and then it's like it's like they don't notice it till later on that it's like oh you get lost a lot but he always finds where he needs to go Exa- he never actually gets lost so like that's what a I'm true talking swordsman about. Is never lost. That's what I'm talking about. Like Nami needs to just quit. She's not the best navigator. Just let Zoro <laughs> he, he take navigates the helm. By instinct. Just let Zoro take the helm, and they would have been done like seven arcs ago. <laughs> he uses ultra like, instinct. He would have gone just, when they got to the oops. new world. Sorry, all, they, all they really no, had to do. No, it would have been before just, they even got to the when they get to the Grand Line. He would have actually turned around and went, <laughs> <laughs> went the wrong way on the mountain and ended up at, <laughs> at Laugh Tale. And they would have been like, "What is this? How do we?" They would have been is, going up. What is this? They would have been going up the mountain, yeah. and he would have. Accidentally went the right, yeah. Wrong, wrong he would have way. hit the rocks on the side. Everybody would have, th- and they would have landed right on the right yeah. island. And they would have found the one tail. piece, like. And he'd been like, "What is that?" And they'd be like, "Oh, it's the one piece," and it explains everything. Yeah. And then See? Robin would have been with them, so they couldn't read anything. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to. Like they would have already been there. Yeah, and Luffy would be like, "Well, I'm the pirate king now, I guess." Ha ha ha! I mean, everyone could destroy me, but I promise, I'm the pirate king. <laughs> how, uh, you know. How do you prove, though, that you made it there? Like, there's not, like, a flat. Well, see, that's the thing. We don't know. It depends on what's at Laugh Tale. To prove you've been there? Yeah, there could be information there that... Because I'm assuming all the information of the Void Century is there. Mm. I, I mean, that's kind of what it seems like it's going to be. The Void Century information is going to be there. So then you just... I have... I have the I have info. the ticket. That's literally what I was thinking. Charlie's Factory is there. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I mean, technically it is his factory now. But anyway, okay, we're getting off track. Zoro, like, he's kind <laughs> off track. <laughs> we got lost in the conversation. Oh my god, ridiculous! So ridiculous. Okay, attacks. <laughs> Oni Gary, Oni Oni Gary, three thousand worlds. Uh, random slash. Yeah, I did a lot of random slashes. Like, see, my one of my favorite moments would be during the end. When, well, of course, the whole Mihawk fight was amazing. I love that, mm. and it was very, you know, basically almost a one for sh- one yeah, shot was, of the manga anime. That was super accurate. Yeah, that was great. I just love that he just pulls out the little sword. What is that? Ah, you don't hunt a fly with a cannon. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, you don't. That's just great. He like calls him out right there. He's just like, dude, you have no chance. Mihawk looks at him and is like, no, okay. But he's like, oh, you have, you have, you have grit. You have guts. I like it, kid. Get strong one day and come find me. He does. (laughs) Yeah. The train. A lot of times. No, once. They uh, still don't fight. Just once. Literally just once. Don't listen to him. (laughs) Cooper just throws him on the island. This is a good place for you. He's like, I, I, I know who can train you. Uh, Mihawk probably knew too. Think so? Because it's on his island. He would have seen the paw print. Oh well, yeah. Mihawk would have walked out there and been like, "Kuma, like, dude, why? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the heck, man? Hits like, him with a blade attack from across the world. <laughs> <laughs> and he's kind of like, Zing! and he's just like, <laughs> and that's how they message each other. <laughs> <laughs> Long distance texting. Uh, <laughs> it's just like he, he writes out letters on his shirt. <laughs> Forget you, Kuma. I hate you. <laughs> he just sends out little like paws and like spells out things on his beach. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> attacks. Oh no no no! You you got me off track. I was talking about the famous moment, like because the whole Mihawk fight. Yeah. No, at the end when like they're Luffy's like running on the thing with Nami. And, like, a guy jumps up, and he, like, runs on the side of the wall and, like, Wah! slashes the dude. Yeah. Like, jumps off. And then it's, like, also partially Sanji when he's, like, he goes to turn, and then Sanji comes in and kicks the guy. And then, yeah. And then, really, like, their camaraderie. How accurate. Sanji and Zoro. Yeah, how Zoro and Sanji Super are. Accurate. Like, their their chemistry is great. Their chemistry. Well, hey. I, I mean, that's what it is. They it's, it's, like, met each other. Why's the waiter here? Shut up, Mosshead. Yeah, that's like perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. These two, like, already hate each other. Yeah. Right off the bat. <laughs> perfect. And he's like, ah, I hate all of you. Oh, Nami, what's up, girl? <laughs> and she's like, what? <laughs> no, but, okay, so, outfit. <laughs> I mean, he, he's wearing his he had one outfit. outfit. Accurate. <laughs> exactly. How he he had the bandana. All that really oh, matters he, is the bandana. You take his bandana and he's, serious oh, serious mode. time. All right, we're done. And then the sword. He had the sword. His one white Arr. sword that was accurate. Arr. And he used, what, three sword style twice? Yeah. Now he has one sword style. Now he has only one sword style. Never used a lion song. Which, I mean, he doesn't actually use Arr. it. Yeah. He doesn't actually use it until the next... Wouldn't, wouldn't be in the next season anyway, so it doesn't matter. But... Um, that's the thing in the manga he had three well he kind of had three swords at that point because he took Johnny and Yosaku he took their swords but oh you're right that's, yeah that's not really relevant yeah um, origin flashback but, uh, for the most part pretty much the same they just didn't show him training with the resource though yeah but otherwise it's basically the same yeah it did like in the he, manga, yeah, he developed. He started working on three sword style then. Yeah, because, that's because he was like, he was like beat her, but he's like, and she was like, oh, use more swords, and he's like, okay, he tried two swords and still lost. Okay, ah, three swords ah, 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 and still, still lost. lost. And then he's like, I just need to train more, and he would have like the weight thing in his mouth and be like, ah, ah, like training his neck and everything, so yeah. he could like do do it really good. And then she and then she died, and then sad. She died in a farming accident. Yeah. <laughs> like I saw meme they're like he's like I'll be like I'm she's like I'm gonna be the greatest swordsman or whatever and like her her weakness is like a set of stairs <laughs> I was like oh that's mean that's just mean <laughs> all right so overall Zoro a plus a plus <laughs> a plus great actor great outfit great all the he had all the things that he needed to have yep yep, yep. good job <laughs> <laughs> he looked right he sorted right he drank a lot he drank a lot. He fought with Sanji. He hated Sanji. Yep. Good stuff. Good. Good. Perfect. Doing good. You're already doing good. Yeah. You're already. Yeah. You're already on your way. All right. Nami. 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 Emily. Um. Played by Emily Rudd. No relation to Paul Rudd. Really? Yeah. Because I saw her name, Emily Rudd, and I was like, 
she related to Paul Rudd? And then that's like one of the most searched things is like, is she related to Paul Rudd? And she's not. And I was like, oh man, that was weird. That was crazy. <laughs> but anyway, but I thought she did good. I thought she was yeah. really good. Yeah, not she, me. She was good. Yeah. Um, she no, did no the, uh, the whole messing with buggies, pirates thing well. Mm-hmm. That's a, an important part. Yeah, that's her introduction. Starts her journey. <laughs> yeah, that's her introduction. Is that she's a, a thief. Mm-hmm. She steals from pirates. She's a pirate thief. I think Zora's a pirate hunter. <laughs> she's a pirate thief. She's <laughs> a pirate thief. Zora's a pirate hunter. She's a pirate thief. Who stops a pretend pirate, and Sanji's a, a cook for pirates. They, they're all pirate adjacent. <laughs> Was uh, her tattoo right? That was the only thing. Yeah. Like at the end, when she did the the replacement tattoo, yep. I was like, "Yeah, well, the there's no way they covered Terry, that giant." Terry thing. said the exact same thing. She's like, "Yeah, that's totally how that works." <laughs> the only thing, see, the only thing, like I think, like all of that, like they did pretty much exactly like like mm-hmm. in the manga and anime stuff, which was they did really good. I thought it was really great. The only thing is that, like, when she did it in the thing, she didn't like because in the show she stabbed herself like two or yeah. three times. And the thing, she was like, <laughs> "Yeah," she like hacked the heck out of her arm yeah. to the point that there was like no tattoo left. Yeah. So it's like basically it was just like scar tissue, and then they tattooed over it. <laughs> Which you're not supposed to do. Well, you're not supposed to do a lot of things, but it's okay. Uh, they use the fish skin, and it healed her. She's part fishman now. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, Give me the best tuna out of the fridge. We're gonna heal this. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was good. It's old, you know, old seafaring trick. But no, so. Yeah, the ta- so the tattoo yeah she had was before was right and the one she gets is is right. Yeah, I just was like that's. It's just a pinwheel thing was actually supposed to be from um, Genzo. Yeah, the leader guy. Yeah, not the mom. You know, in the flashback, that was what I wanted to talk about. Okay. In the flashback, he had his pinwheel because like he Did gets he? the pinwheel yeah, for, for Nami. Nami. Yeah, because to, like, she's, make like, her laugh. And, and yeah, he makes like the pinwheel or whatever. Yeah, and he had the pinwheel in the flashback, Did and he? then like when she joins the Arlong pirates. Yeah. He never has the pinwheel. He never gets it back. Even after they save the village, he it's oh. not like a little like a little little that. tidbit where he puts the pinwheel back in. Like my biggest thing is that Luffy never used gum gum pinwheel. <laughs> he was inspired. He saw it was like oh, that's a new technique pinwheel, and that you know, and then pinwheel turns into UFO. Kind of yeah, just like a leg version. <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know how they would do that in live action. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> UFO! <laughs> Luffy, what are you doing? Gum, gum, Da Vinci's helicopter! And then, he just puts out both his arms and his legs, and he just... <laughs> Which, uh, just to jump off thing, it, it's funny then when people are like, ah, he made him too ridiculous with Gear 5. And it's like, have you not watched the entire anything? Again, I, I present Gum Gum UFO. <laughs> oh, man. I present Gum Gum all of it. He just makes like them up he as does. he does them. They're not like pre-made attacks. He, he just, just like he looks at his fist and he looks at his fist and he says, I got an idea. Yeah. That's why he's like with Gear 5. He's like, oh, this is exactly what I've always wanted to be able to do. Just anything. Everything. Gum Gum Toon World. Yeah. He's like, I can do anything I want now. I have free mm-hmm. reign to do all the crazy things I've always imagined. But I was never able to do because of the limitations of my fruit. Anyway, back on track. Yeah. Back on track. Um, we're gonna skip attacks because she doesn't really have attacks. She does, she used the bow staff, which the bow staff was nice. But she actually had like the real like you know the little thing that she like it was grew that. Or she already had that at that point though. Well, it didn't grow. It didn't grow. It didn't grow. I am it was root. yeah. It was a three part staff thing that she had to put together. Yeah. But I mean, it's cool that it grew. That's what it, in the series she always has a three part staff. Basically, yeah. Until until recently. Usopp, Usopp makes it with the plants so yeah. she can just squeeze in it. And so they go, like, that's what I'm, that's what I was thinking. Like, yeah. She makes, it's like collapsible now, which is fine. I mean, it's cool. It's like they like sped Cause that up. Like, Cause that was like part of her, like her cool like thing was that she'd have the three things and she'd grab two of them, like, tw- like s- throw up the one mm-hmm. and it would like spin and then she would catch it in between the other two parts. Mm-hmm. Cause that was like part of her like cool animation that she would, and then she'd, yeah, hit people or like with it. each piece had its own. No, after no, she gets well, the climb attack. Yeah, yeah, that's not told. That's not told. Uh, yeah, but it, they, they're going to give her Next the, the t- 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 staff. Well, no, like, but, but she's going to get a completely different one. Okay. Because like each piece has its own. Yeah, but that's not, that's not, that's a completely different. That's each like, piece has its own material in it. Yeah. So. Yeah, it'd be hard. I don't know how he would do that, but they'll figure something out. Okay. So. Nami. <laughs> Nami, yeah. Um, it's, it's really all there is to it. Well, I mean, outfit. Anywhere. Like her outfit. She yeah. She had her outfit. She had her Nami outfit. Yeah, she had all of her Nami outfits. Yeah, she had each appropriate outfit for each different part, and she even had glasses. 
Mm-hmm. When she needed to read her reading glasses. Yeah. Her chart making glasses. Mm. She's like, yeah, she got to do a little delicate work, you know. And her flashback was basically exactly the same. The only big change really was that when her, you know, adopted mom found her, it was like during a flood, not a pirate attack. Yeah. Well. But they're probably like, that's expensive to have water and stuff. Well, just yeah. a pirate attack. Were the two of them together? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And well, I guess that's another big change is that when she found them, they were younger. Like Nami was an infant. Mm, you're right. Yeah. Her sister was holding her in a, like a, a rag and she's like, wah, wah, I'm a baby. That's what she said. That's exactly what she said. That's what you say when you're a baby. Yes. Wah, wah, I'm a baby. No. Oh. What else are you going to say? I, I, that's what everyone says. They're like, oh, look, a baby. So the baby's like, okay, I'm a baby. Yeah. Surprised every baby's first word isn't baby. Anyway. <laughs> But that's really, as far as I can remember, that's only like the major big change is that. Genzo didn't have his pinwheel. Didn't have his pinwheel. <laughs> but other than that, everything, like, it was pretty much how it was in the manga and the anime. Like, and it's, it was good. Everybody I liked was, his casting, too. Who? The Genzo guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, he was good. Like, he looked good. He, like, he did it right. He, he even looked like him. Yeah. Good stuff. I mean, that's how you, that's how you do it. That's how you cast people. Well, good stuff. Anyway, okay, so <laughs> be it for Nami. Another A+. Plus. Good casting. Yeah. Everyone's probably going to get A+, but don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Usopp. Usopp, that's a D+. Plus. What? Because <laughs> he doesn't have the nose? Exactly. Like, the they nose didn't, nose? They didn't give him the nose, so... I mean, I'm glad they Even didn't Even on his nose. flag, he had the nose. He had a sh- no, he had a shorter nose. Did he have the short? You're right. Yeah, and the, the one he, and the one in the live action show, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'm glad they didn't do the nose. That was another thing I was worried about. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to throw a prosthetic on the dude's face that gives him a super long nose. It's going to look ridiculous. <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, otherwise, I think the actor was great. I thought he did a good job. But Usopp, okay. Not that live action. Not that it's important. But like. He kept, I'm he Captain Usopp, but, like, he didn't have the Usopp pirates. He didn't have his kid squad. Well, yeah, that was something they cut out, yeah. Like, the kids. That, I, I understand, like, some stuff just, it, it's you unnecessary. You got for time, yeah. But, like, he could have, they didn't need to be in there, like, all the time, but, like, he didn't even have his kid squad. And, like, that's kind of, like, his whole... His crew. Okay, so if, uh, that's, that's his the crew. Usopp pirates, like, the yeah. Usopp pirates. Like, how are you the Usopp and pirates? And the Usopp are pirates are the who? ones that protect Kaya after he leaves. Yeah. That's their job. Yeah, okay. He leaves them in charge. He said, guys, you're going to check my girl. And that's it. The butler died. Or not the butler. The, yeah. the How Mary. are you going to kill Mary? Mary? Like, Mary I, again, Mary, is he really important really to the that whole relevant. series? But, like, and then it's why like, it's kill like, oh, Mary? We named, because we named the ship after him for in his remembrance. It was called the Going Mary to start with. It looked like Mary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not like they came like, up with it after. It's not like it was a ship with like a random front on it yeah. that was uncarved. Well, it was literally Mary's ship, and then she's like, well, I mean, "You can have it." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna call it? I guess the Going Mary. I mean, that's like we're watching it, and I, and I was like, like with Terry, and I'm like, like, no, I don't know why he looks like a goat or a sheep or whatever. I'm like, um, I have no idea why he looks like that. Oh, you meant like explain, the guy. Yeah. Why he has horns and why he's got like wool hair and, and stuff. I'm like, why? He's a Zoan or he's a mink tribe. You know what? That'd be weird if he was. Could he not be? No. I mean, there's no reason realistically there's why he no wouldn't be. There's no reason why he can't be a, but I mean, at least a descendant of a mink tribe. Like, I mean, that's I mean, a thing. Fishmen don't have to live in the Fishman Village and yeah. minks can be everywhere. Yeah. There's there, minks on like everybody's cruise. Yeah. That's true. I didn't I, I actually hadn't thought about that. He could be like a mm-hmm. grandchild of a mink or something, so he just has partial animal thing. I had never now, thought you wanna, about that. You want to talk about animalistic people that make no sense though, is like Captain Nezemi or whatever, who's not actually a mouse. It's oh. just like his his <laughs> yeah, marine like designation. Like, mm, yes. It's like each marine like has their like animal. Like like how Garp is the dog. I'm the sea dog. <laughs> like, uh, <yo>. Why? <laughs> why why not the guy who has the dog zoan fruit? We don't talk about. We him. don't. Yeah, I'm, I have a higher rank. I chose dog. I chose dog first. He got that afterwards. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha, you can't be a dog. You get the cat one. <laughs> be like, but I'm a dog. I'm the sea cat. <laughs> I'm literally a dog. Where are we now? Attacks. Captain. Oh, attacks. He <laughs> called out his attack too. He did. He explosion did. Fire star. star. Or no, it was yeah. explosion star. Yeah, that was Explosion Star. Special attack? Exploding Star! Yeah, that was cool. I was like, awesome. 
And he actually fought Chew. Yeah. Chew. Chew was uh, trying him. And he's like, ah. He's like, he's like, oh, you can't burn me? Oh, yeah, but the alcohol can. Ah, and then he killed him. Did he kill him? I don't know. He was a pretty crispy, and he was not moving on the ground. I'm like, oh, he kind of messed that guy up. I mean, it was cool. I'm like, he's oh, I'm like, and he's like, I like too how he's like, oh, no one's around. Ah, they'll believe me. And it's like, no, they're not. <laughs> they were first major battle, and it's like, ah. What well, happened in the series too? Yeah, when he fights Chu, he's yeah, in he a runs random, away. He's in a random place. He defeats Chu, and yeah, then he's, he's like, guys, he's, I defeated Chu, and they're he's, like, he's a, he, they're in the rice fields. Because then he has a bunch of water to, like, suck up and yeah. shoot at him. Yeah, exactly. I liked how Chew just kept using alcohol for everything. Well, because he didn't have... Or, or it was water. <laughs> he needs water. <laughs> I mean, like, every time they showed him doing his spit attack, it was always alcohol. He's like... Because he's a pirate. <laughs> what a waste chew. of alcohol. <laughs> chew, chew. Keep a canteen with you. <laughs> so when anybody wanted a shot, he just... <laughs> Open your mouth. Ah, thanks, man. Blows on the back of their head. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we lose more crew members that way. Mm. Anyway, yeah, but, yeah so, okay, so, yeah, he did exploding star. He did exploding star. That was like his main attack. He, well, he did the smoke stuff yeah, he at did the beginning. Sp- his smoke bombs. The battle. Smoke dragon. Fight. Yeah, smoke dragon wolf. Oh, okay. Anyway, but he did the frying. He pan. didn't have his hammer. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to have his hammer. We, ah, Usopp hammer. That's right. He like he wasn't a rubber band of doom. Yeah, he wasn't pulling enough stuff out of his he, bag. Yeah, he didn't have enough like random items <laughs> <laughs> ah chalkboard <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's things they cut out like that they're like it's, it's like they it's watered pointless. down Usopp though that was my problem with Usopp like it wasn't he was the issue it was it's just like they watered down his like Usoppness. all his, of like, his crazy his, yeah ridiculous like I'm not items. actually good at this stuff yeah I have all these random items I try to use as weapons if he convinces himself he's doing well, then he's doing well. He beat you. That's all that matters. <laughs> but so anyway, so his uh, outfit. He looked like Usopp. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Wasn't there a part where he actually had like his green bandana and then they like took it I think off so. or something? I think. I don't remember. But he had basically, you know, that Usopp outfit the entire time, which was nice. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. And an origin flashback. Which was the British are coming. The Brit- <laughs> the British pirates are coming. Blimey! <laughs> Blimey! <laughs> Blimey! G- give me your pr- your treasure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, basically everything was the same about that, except um, no, I mean basically everything was That's what the I mean. same. It's all of his flashback stuff was actually yeah, like accurate. most of the yeah most of the flashbacks were like pretty exact. Yeah, which was cool. Yeah. Yeah, his, his flashback was pretty accurate. So. Yeah. Not much to really say about that. Yeah, just that it it was accurate. So overall, accurate. Overall, good. Overall, another A+. Plus. <laughs> so far, they're doing pretty good. <laughs> good job, Straw Hats. Good job. Like, yeah, you guys are doing great. Dosanji, my favorite character. <laughs> they didn't give him the curly eyebrows. They didn't give him the curly eyebrows, which is something I'm, I'm kind of glad about. Like, I was kind of wondering if they were going to do that. But it's like, it's, I don't know. It just look, it look weird. I don't what? know. No, more than that, my biggest problem is that you can see his right eye. Yes. That I'm like, that, I'm like that, that's not, I'm like, he doesn't have a right eye. Or we don't know if he has a right eye until the time skip. And then we don't know if he has a left eye. But like all of the Vin Smoke's not going to have the curly eyebrows? Probably. And you're probably going to be able to see all, both of their eyes. Because I think there's only, I think there's only one of them that he has his hair slicked back. Yeah, the green, the green-haired one. I can't remember which one that one is. Oh, and I think the sister too. Maybe. Yeah, she's got she got an eye covered. Oh, okay. As they should. Well, of course, Judge. Judge, you can see both his eyes. But anyway. Yeah, but Judge. Is, but yeah, he had. Judge is like, I'm glad he had the hair down, which like so it looked good. But like they're you know, obviously practically for practical reasons they can't actually have it be a solid chunk of hair that's always covering half his face. Why not? <laughs> because it would look ridiculous. No, I thought. I don't know. I thought the actor was great. Thought he did really good. Sanji. Yeah. I really liked him as Sanji. Yeah, he. Uh, I thought he did really good, and he really did really good with the actual, like the fighting and stuff. He did good with the cooking. They were good with the cooking. He did good with the fighting. Good cook. Hey, I mean, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's make some cool food. Yeah. Yeah, and he he fed Don Craig's guy. Yep. And then nothing happened. 
Well, I mean, that was just a, that was just a, you know, whatever thing, a reference, a cameo, <laughs> a little cameo character, a little cameo. You're welcome. Um, he did so the, all attack, of his attacks. He did. He, he did, did wham bam well, flambe, he, and he did. <laughs> he didn't do. He, he didn't did do like, shot, you know, the did. table kick course where he does like on his hands and does the spin, which would be kind of hard for him to do. Basically, you had to go on your hands, do a split, and then spin. Yeah. Which would be very, very difficult to do. He did calendar shot. He did flam bam, flam bam. <laughs> no, he did coulier, coulier. I don't know. All of his moves, all of those moves he did were different body parts in French. Yeah. Well, different parts for like when you're cooking. Like this is the, you know, the ribs or this the whatever. Basically, it was like for fish, for making a fish. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I think, I think it was supposed to be something like that. Yeah. Because like, the, you know, all of his moves are in French. Yeah. And then a lot of them are like what body part he hits. In a fish. Well, <laughs> that was just because he was finding fishmen. But yeah, that's like, what I mean. usually it's like, fish. Fish is like coulier, which I think is like collarbone. Mm. So you do like the the kick when he like hit him, you know, <laughs> which 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 is cool. But yeah, that whole like he did the whole combo thing. That was how he how he beat Kabaji in um in the manga. Mm-hmm. He did a little combo and then he did the the final yeah kick. Yeah, with, with his finger, finger, <laughs> finger, finger kick, finger, finger kick, <laughs> boom! He went flying through the through the you know. Saved your life, moth head. Yeah, <laughs> I had him. If you had him, I wouldn't have gotten him. <laughs> but just, again, like their chemistry was great. Like their their whole, I hate you, I hate you. Mm-hmm. But we we'll have to work together. <laughs> it was really cool. But yeah, so I loved Sanji in mm-hmm. the show. I thought he was great. Yeah, in his outfit, he had the suit. Which is good. That's totally practical for seafaring. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like dapper everywhere you go. Don't, <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh, favorite moment would be all of it. <laughs> favorite moment. moment when he took his shirt off. Come on. <laughs> when he saved Luffy. Saved Luffy, and he's like, "I need to take my shirt off for this. Why? <laughs> I don't want my shirt to get dirty." He or get, never to get took wet. his shirt off in any of the series to save yeah. Luffy from drowning, or but, for anything, any but, reason. You know, yeah. live action. <laughs> yeah, live action. You gotta yeah show little pecs. <laughs> <laughs> so and then origin flashback was basically exactly the Act, same yeah that was like shot for shot remake of the manga and the anime yes like literally nothing to nothing like, yeah yeah d- d- nothing it's, it's exactly the same it was perfect that was that was a good part yeah the only the only thing is that and I understand that it would be kind of hard to do was that the kid didn't look because like you know the manga and the anime he's like just skin, literally well, skin. Yeah, I, I, but it's like, it's you, like you can't do atrophy on a live action. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's, that's, that's the only thing. Was I mean, that, I guess they could have CG, but yeah, know. exactly. I'm like, that's the only thing that I'm like, he still looks okay. Kind of for the most part, he still looks fine, but I'm like, but yeah, I'm like, it's not really practical to try to <laughs> tell that they tell the kid, okay, now don't eat for the next month. <laughs> Come back. We'll film the last part of it. Yeah, I'm like that's that's the only thing is that I'm like yeah they'd have to use CG and it's kind of a waste to yeah to do that but otherwise it was perfect. So overall, thought he was perfect. Yeah, A plus, A plus plus plus. <laughs> Not because he's my favorite character, but because so many pluses, <laughs> so many extra pluses. I wonder why. No, but I thought I thought he was great. <laughs> I thought he was great. Well then, I don't know. Zoro gets an A plus plus plus. <laughs> yeah? yeah, is that your favorite character? Yeah, on the Straw Hats. Oh, okay. Early stage. Oh, early stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, at the point we're at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so everybody got A+. Plus, 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 plus. And plus, 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 plus for some of them. <laughs> so basically, we really like the crew. Yeah. I, I like the way they casted the Straw yeah, Hats. Good casting, good set. outfits. The attacks were good. All the flashbacks were basically exactly right. Nothing to really say about that. Yeah. They did, great, they did a great job. Good job. Good start to the series. Yeah. Hopefully Assuming it can keep going. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it gets a season two. What? I, I, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, it did well, but, you know, mm-hmm. we're, we're talking it's super about... super popular. We're yeah. talking about One Piece. Like, yeah. I, I know everyone's excited, but this isn't cost effective. Well, so. I mean, that's a, that's another episode. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that we're going to wrap it up here. That's going to be it for the first One Piece live action episode talking specifically about the crew woo! <laughs> and that we all really we liked all of them very much uh the next episode will be about the enemies of the straw hat pirates oh no oh that's another thing that was another thing that i really liked that they actually had him have the uh 
the Jolly the the, the bad Jolly, Jolly Roger. Yes, that he drew the the tor- terrible one. This is all Jolly Roger, guys. And they're like, that looks horrible. No, that is not. <laughs> no, I know. And then Usopp drew it, and it's his Jolly Roger. He's like, yeah. yeah. And they're like, no, dude, we're not doing that one. We're either. not doing that one. And then at the end, he got the actual one. I'm yeah. like, yeah. He was Mary. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's it's the, the Jolly Roger, but it's like a goat. <laughs> we are the goat pirates. Or the lamb pirates or whatever he's supposed to be. Yeah. The Mary or the Mary Pirates. In his honor. So yeah, so that's so we're gonna wrap it up there then. <laughs> so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I don't know why I waved. We're not at that point yet. I... <laughs> now? <laughs> Later? Okay. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're on Instagram. Check out the other episodes of the podcast, check out the other videos and so on and so forth. And until next week. Bye. Bye.